Thank you both so much. Uh, Pega, Sepeda, I'm very excited to speak with you. Thank you so much to talk uh, for bringing this important topic and subject to theaters. Um, I, I know you're very, very busy. I'll try to be as brief as possible and be respectful of your time. Uh, but I do want to just hop right in. And Sahar, S Sahar, Sahar gets in a situation in this movie, right? Where she protests and it has an international reach. But there's also a message of residency issues that can easily affect people who are, you know, like studying abroad or for whatever reason. That's a great question. What message do I want the audience to walk away with? I think a lot of times we now I have my Canadian citizenship, but I went through my refugee status like 10 years ago. And going through that process was very challenging. When you are about to go and do your hearing and you have no idea if the judge is going to say, yes, you can stay or no, you're going to get kicked out. And that feeling right after when I heard the yes, yes, you can stay. When I was walking home, I could, <laughs> this, is, this might sound very dramatic. But I felt like uh, before that day, I was like walking or like a wobbly ground. And after that hearing, I felt like my, the ground was solid. I was safe to walk and stay here. But a lot of people don't get that chance. And I don't know, I wanted the film to shine a light on that. It's that it is a privilege to have that safety. Um, and not everyone gets that, especially nowadays in the crazy world that we live in with everything that's going on. Thank you for that. So, Peg, I have a question for you as well. You know, just just piggybacking on that, I can only imagine, you know, being of Iranian descent, that this movie impacted you, you know, personally in, in some way. Um, can you talk about how this affected the performance or or how this informed your performance with your character in One Must Wash Eyes? Um, I mean, being displaced from your homeland happens differently to everyone. I can only speak on behalf of Iranians. Um, but your homeland and your, your home, your family, and a lot of people's cases being taken away from you despite your continuous fight for them. Um, I think that not being able to think about safety and the feeling of security uh, when I think of going home to visit family or to just go see my country. Uh, I think that was enough fuel to uh, fire what I needed the character to 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 push and to to help her fight her fight, um, and I think that uh, yeah, I think it's something that a lot of Iranians can relate to in one way or another. Now, uh, Sepeda, um, to piggyback on that, there are a few scenes in this film where you know we see that Sahars and places where she's starting to not feel safe right there's a lot of moments of vulnerability a lot of t uh, uh sensitive moments for her character were there any particular scenes in the movie that you're most proud of or what what was the most significant scene that you wanted to make sure that you got right considering uh -huh. the message um why to your doggy um I think uh, the scene when she gets the, not I think, I know, the scene that she gets a phone call um, from home from her mom and her uncle that they basically tell her that she should not come back. That was, that needed a little bit of dancing and making sure that all the shots were right, especially like going into it and coming out of it. And beside like planning for it, we had to leave space also for accidents to happen as well. So uh, I think that one was the most difficult part. And another one was the full scene <laughs> because we only had one shot of that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, well, that's cool to know. So the scene where they like jumped in. Oh, I didn't believe it. Okay. 
<laughs> yes, I know. What, what what was it like for you working with Pega, and what what insights do you think you're going to take into your next film from this project? It was extremely challenging. I'm kidding. Pega <laughs> was the first. <laughs> Pega was the first. Um, I've heard people like filmmakers say this a lot before I made this film that they have seen an audition and they just fell in love with the actor like right away they knew and that was with Pega. I was so amazed and I was like when we were doing the callbacks I was like I have no news to give to her. I just want to meet her because she was so perfect. She hid every single thing that I had in mind when I was writing the script and working with her it felt so natural. It was as if she's my sister or like a best friend that I haven't seen in ages. We connected right away and working was from my view, it was the easiest thing that I've done. Yeah, a lot of people do say we could be sisters. <laughs> Such an honor. Oh, it's my honor. <laughs> In working on this project, what would you say was probably the most challenging aspect to actually put together in the film? What was the, you know, uh, the biggest obstacle you overcame? Yeah, um, well, before getting into actually making the film, I thought getting the funding was the most difficult part, but it turned out that was the easiest part. Getting a, the crew that were passionate about the film at the beginning is was hard, but when it happened, the crew was wonderful. They were brilliant, talented human beings that like made the film so, making the film so easy. Um, I'll say one of the challenging nights or days of filming was our night shoot because I'm the kind of person who goes to bed at 9 p.m. So it was really hard to stay until 4 a.m. But you know what made it easy though? Our crew would make, were making memes all night. So every time we were done filming, we would like go on our phones and just like laugh about our, our <laughs> environment and like what the other created about the situation that we were in so that was fun yeah i think i need to add a little bit to that uh we shot 10 pages i think in five hours and credit where credit is due i don't think we would have been able to do it without our first ad and associate producer and now my partner um but we were making memes of him because we felt for him and because we knew that it was hard and me being me and just the dynamic it's it was it was a family a loving dynamic um, and we, I think the memes are what got us through that, that shooting day. Now, my considering the, you know, the sensitive subject matter with folks who are having issues with residency, what, I'm, I'm, what advice would you give to, you know, young Iranian women or, uh, someone else in a similar situation who might be the next Sahar, um, after learning through this experience? Um, I'd say it will get easier. It is hard when you're going through it. I know it's hard, but make, I want them to know that they're not alone in this journey and there is a community out there, um, that are going through the same things. And if they ever need a friend to chat, hit me up. I'll be here to, to, to talk you and walk you through it going back to the character of the fell what would you say is the biggest similarity between yourself pega and your character um now that you've you've uh, had an opportunity to live in her shoes for a while um i mean considering it's sephida's story and it, it basically is her uh having met her before we even started filming we realized how similar we were and our experiences and um i think just i i would say that it's not necessarily similarities but i learned a lot from the character um i think that once the pan the, the pandemic the revolution broke out um there was a lot of fear, especially in people who have lived abroad for most of their life, especially since they were young. Um, and I feel like it, that fear, it took a lot of um, 
molding to get out of my body and I feel like watching Sahar go through these things after having seen One Must Wash Eyes myself once it was done, I thought, wow, I'm not the same person as I was before we made this film and I think I think that she's definitely taught me some courage and and reminded me of my strength. Uh, and just watching Sipida on set, uh, she would come and tell me certain stories to to give me a bit more background uh, before a scene, or or just to get me get me going or get me through something. And I just watching her persevere and be so incredibly strong. I, I all I could do was show up, you know. Well. You've made a really great um, introduction for yourself with this film, working with Pega. Um, it, 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 you really, really did a great job, I think, personally. Um, I'm, uh, how has this movie and this experience changed you, you know, as an artist, uh, as a person, if at all? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I learned a lot from the beginning to the end and learned that finishing your film is also just the beginning of it because <laughs> there is a whole aspect of it after it's done um, which I'm really excited to learn about um, and I made, I think we all did we made a community, we made friendships that I think is going to last us a lifelong so that was the biggest thing that I gained and learned that will continue moving on with it. I want, I when we finished filming, I was like, I want to hire, I want to work with every single person again the next project because I'm so afraid that it's not going to be the same. It was awesome. That's pretty cool. And 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 this question is for the both of you, you know, just keeping that vibe. Um, can, can you share a piece of advice or maybe wisdom that has had a profound impact on your life or your careers? Well, cool. I'll try to go first. Um, piece of wisdom or advice that has affected my career or life. You know what? Actually, I went to dinner with my manager last night and he said something um, that really stuck with me is that. Uh, and it relates to other issues and conflicts going on with uh other groups around the, the the world but yeah he said that the people aren't the country but they should be um and i thought that was so simple and i don't want to say patriotic because be patriotic if you want to be don't be if you don't want to be but we forget that we are our homeland uh and just the notion that people think they can take that away from you is absurd and for a long time, um, I'm not going to say we've let them, but we've forgotten that we don't have to let them. And I think that goes, especially uh, even in the Western world, like we we have representatives that are supposed to represent us and a lot of times don't. And if you've gotten in this routine of thinking that people can just get away with things and they can't. Because you are your country, as it should be. Well, um, I, again, I know you're both very busy. I, I do really appreciate you giving me so much of your time this afternoon. Thank you both so much. I'm very excited for everyone to see this film, this beautiful, amazing film when it opens in a couple short days. Thank you both so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Let me know anything else you need for this. Absolutely. Thank you. And good luck at the premiere. Thank you. So exciting. Very. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye.